it's content like this, clips like this, messaging like this, information like this, that has really been pushed onto women, specifically Western women, Anglosphere women, and yes, some some women in Western Europe, etc., who don't speak English. But um, it's content like this that we're going to talk about or that we're going to review here that makes makes women not really want to be that great of wives, makes women really not want to serve a man or or be be pleasant. And it's so sad. It it really is so sad. And in the comments, there's there's a ton of people agreeing with her. But let me play this for you and we'll talk about it. Girl, men are never going to fall in love with your actions. No matter how much you do for them, no matter how nice you are, how much you cook, how much you clean, you buy him everything he wants, you pay his bill, you let him use your body, you help him with his career or build his empire, whatever that is, he is just going to keep taking advantage of you. He's never going to one day just turn into that Prince Charming you've been hoping for, you've been pouring your resources and energy and effort into. Because men only give princess treatment to women who feel like they're worthy. And if you were his dream girl, he would have made that clear from day one with the way that he treated you. So stop feeding yourself this lie that if you were just a better girlfriend, if you just tried a little bit harder, he would finally see your worth. He would finally change the way that he treats you. Girl, men are never going to fall in love with your actions. So here's the thing. In a way, she is right, but it's not what she's talking about. She would be correct in saying that if a man doesn't find you physically attractive, doing all these things like cooking and cleaning and maybe even paying for one of his bills here and there isn't going to make him all of a sudden be madly in love with you and want to be with him. If she were to have said something like that, that, that is true. If, if a man, it really is visual big time for men. And, and weirdly enough, some guys agree, disagree with me on that. Uh, but I think you, I think they're lying. They, they'll say, Oh, you know, it's, looks aren't that important to me. I don't, I don't understand that. I think you're probably lying. Uh, but anyways, if a man doesn't find a woman physically attractive, he doesn't think she's beautiful. Even if she does all this cooking and cleaning and, and paying his, his bills or doing things for him, it, it, it isn't, it's not going to make him really that attracted to her. But the problem, and that's not really what she said, is it? Because she said, girlfriend, being a better girlfriend won't do anything. So this tells me, oh, hold on, this man already finds her attractive. This man was into her enough in order to get into a committed relationship, right? Because she said girlfriend. So this is where I massively disagree with her. And this is the problem. Because we have women like this feeding this garbage onto women. And it, this isn't a new thing. This has been around for a long time. I remember, hell, even, you know, 2013, 11 years ago, there was this book in Spain, and it was marry him, mar get married and be submissive. These feminists were outraged. They were very, very angry over this. So, I mean, going as far as back as like 2013, even. <laughs> and, and, and yes, I know it goes even further back, but... Hell, even in that book, it, it told women to do the opposite of what of what she's saying. And the feminists were pissed. Women like her were pissed. And it's just sad because there's loads of women sending out this message. And this is, I've said before, but it's like modern women, they really don't know how to make a man love them. They really don't know what to do. They don't know how to pull on a man's heartstrings. They talk about wanting to be protected and provided. They don't even know how to make a man want to do that. They don't know how to do that. They don't know how to pull that out of a man. So where I massively disagree with her on this is once she, once she brought up girlfriend, well, that's where you got. That's where it's different because this guy was attracted to her. He was attracted to her enough to get into a relationship with her. So her doing things for him will definitely make him also want to, because it's just reciprocation. And he sees that this woman is being feminine, friendly, cooperative. She listens. She's open-minded. She respects you. Of course, it's going to draw the best in a man. Why would it not? A couple of videos ago, I mentioned that study. And it showed that nice guys, 
yes, they do finish last. Nice girls finish first because men see niceness correlates. They see it associated with femininity. And men love femininity. They don't love masculinity on a woman. So of course, doing things for your, your boyfriend or your husband, of course that's going to pull out the best in him. Of course. Right? Of course. And I remember getting this email from a viewer the other day, and he said, why is it that when we talk about masculine women, we don't often refer to them as if they're on the lesbian spectrum like we do with effeminate men? Because we always associate effeminate men with being homosexuals. And I thought, that's a pretty good point. And it's true. A lot of these American, Americanized, Westernized masculine women, they come off kind of butch, kind of gay. They come off a little bit gay, don't they? And so for me, that's like I'm not attracted to that. This is why I don't really understand all these men really being interested in bisexual women. They're like, oh, but she brings in other women. I'm like, I don't care. I'm good. You know, that, that's why I also don't want to date a woman with lower sexual market value than me. Because if I date a woman who has equal SMV, I'm not really going to want to bring in other women. Yeah, you know, sure, eventually I might get tired of sleeping with her. But once you can put distance in between you two, spend some time apart, that can, that can be changed, I think. But especially in the LTR marriage, uh, I, I'm, go, I'm, I'm not dating down. I don't, it doesn't make sense to me. And so it's like, yeah, I, the, where I was going with that is, yeah, just a lot of these, these women come off very masculine and thus kind of gay. And it's, the viewer made a great point. I thought that's a really good point. And sometimes I do refer to them as like butch. I have many times. Because they do come off as that. It's like, what, you know, where are the submissive, pleasant, friendly, cooperative, fit, non promiscuous, soft spoken, ladylike females out there? Well, women like her destroy them. This is a bad message, man. It's sad. And she's got it completely backwards. I don't know. Once she said girlfriend, once she started talking about an already established relationship, well, hold on. That's, that's wrong. It, she isn't wrong if she's talking about a man not even finding you attractive. Because, yeah, men are more visual than women. I believe. I think there was actually something I saw. And it was like they, they, they did some sort of MRI thing. Something with that, and they, they saw that there was more brain activity when men, were, when men saw attractive women versus when women saw attractive men. Like there was more brain stimulation when a man saw a, a visually stimulating, attractive woman than when a woman saw like a, an attractive man. There was less brain activity, something like that. So men are, just, men are more visual. So if he doesn't find you visually uh, Right, if a man doesn't find a woman visually attractive, then then yeah, I, I would say she's 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 right on the money. Cooking for him and cleaning for him may not make the woman more attractive in the man's eyes. Maybe a little bit, right? Maybe a little bit. But the main thing is, is does he find you visually stimulating? Does he find you beautiful? Um. And unfortunately, if he doesn't think you're attractive, he doesn't think you're sexy, he doesn't think you're beautiful, there's not a lot a woman can do to change that, you know? Male desire isn't quite as holistic as female desire. But I just wanted to bring this to your attention because this is how, this is how we get here. This is how we get to where we are. Women leading women, blind leading the blind, saying this stuff, man. And unfortunately, there's loads of women agreeing. Loads of women agreeing in here. Needed to be reminded of this today. Thank you. Facts. He took advantage of me. 
learned from my ex-husband, and now I do the bare minimum. What? What? You're going to get cheated on? Uh, so you say bare minimum in relationship is what keeps relationships going? So this woman, this woman is a little skeptical. Rightfully so. And this woman replies to her. She says, yes, when you start doing a lot for a man, you look desperate. And a lot of men will use you. That's why men get build up. They then leave for women that didn't help them do anything. Fuck, dude. And, and again, I think a lot of these women look at these things through a female lens. Right? When you start doing a lot for a man, you, lo you look desperate and a lot of men will use you. No, you get into a relationship with a man. Do these things for him. He's going to love you for it. Absolutely. If he, find, that's, if he finds you attractive, it's pretty much good. That's all you need. This whole looking desperate thing. Oh, who cares? We're not women. Are you hot? Oh, you're hot. Cool. I don't need other male opinions to, to validate my opinion on if you're attractive or not. I find you banging hot. You're beautiful. I don't care if you come off as desperate and you start doing things for me. What is that? No, that makes me that makes me want to give you a ring. You know, all this talk about marriage. Fuck, dude. Crazy. And this explains a lot. This is why they are the way they are. Because they believe this shit. They 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 don't they don't get men, dude. They don't understand us. But yeah, I thought I'd bring that to your attention. Pretty crazy. And all the women in the comments, yeah, 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 true, true, true. It's, it's, I disagree massively, obviously. But anyways, yeah, hey, if you're new, leave a, a subscription. Or if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that for me. Uh, but I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.